I know I have MailChimp open. Yes, I do. So let me share my screen with you guys. And then I am going to, oh, there it is right there. All right. So you guys should be able to see my, my MailChimp screen. I'm going to do full screen so y'all can see the whole thing, everything I'm doing. I'm going to close out. There we go. So I'm just waiting. All right. So you guys can see everything. So I am in my MailChimp account right now. Uh, if you use a different platform than I do, it's still, the concept is still the same. Just look at the concept. Thank you, Rosa. Look at the concept of it. If you don't use MailChimp, I've been with MailChimp forever in a day. I don't even want to talk about how long it's been, but I've been with them forever. Um, and they have evolved, right? They have added some a lot of new things. They've added a lot of new features that I don't even know and use. I just saw a new feature just pop up just a few minutes ago that I got to go check out. But I do know that they have landing pages, right? So right now you're in my MailChimp. And when you go to your MailChimp, you want to go over to the left-hand side to the button that says Create. You want to scroll down to you find a landing page. Okay. And as, as you can read, design a landing page to achieve a specific marketing goal. Landing pages can help you attract new customers and increase conversions. What's your goal? Our goal is to get customers, to build our list. So that's why we're using a landing page. So we're going to name this landing page. Um, I'm going to call it test wait list. I'm going to select my audience. So if you haven't created an audience already, make sure you create your audience first. I didn't say that, but you should create your audience first. And so I'm going to select keep me broke masterclass, right? That's the one of my lists I have. And then I'm going to hit begin. And it's going to give you all these awesome templates, okay? So if you like, you can start off with the accept payments. You can start off with the lead generation template. But y'all, let me just be real, real with you. I know you can't see my face, but you can hear my voice. A lot of times these fancy templates do not look very good, and they're very complicated to feel, to figure out. So I go with the basic and then I grow, I design around the basics. So I choose to grow your list template. It's plain, but we're going to talk about how we can we can give it a little bit more um. Okay. All right. So if you had a logo, you'll put a logo here, you put your header here, you'll do your email address. This is the opt-in box. But let me just show you some other options that you can do. You can change the background color if you want to, right? So let's change it like to a green. I like the color green. Green is the money. Money, 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 money. That's too dark, but I still like it. Green is one of my favorite colors as well, as well as blue. But maybe you don't want a color. Maybe you want to upload an image. You can also use an image. Let's see. Can I find an image? If you do use an image as a background, I would recommend you use an image that is more of a lifestyle image. Let me see, can I, do I have any lifestyle images in here? Let's say this one, this is like a lifestyle image. It's just people that look like they're in a, in a work area. And right now you really can't see it in the preview right now, but there's an image back here. You can do that. Now, if I had a logo, I will put my logo here. So let's replace it and add some type of logo. I thought I had a logo somewhere. Let me see. Do I have something that I can use? I see that you guys have some questions popping up. I really don't have a logo, but y'all remember the 3D objects? If I knew that in my membership that I was going to include some 3D, uh, that these would be the, you know, if I was doing a membership um, wait list right now, I would include images of what people would get. So I am going to use this image. I am going to reduce the size of it, though, because it's too big. So let me make the size a little smaller. I'm going to make it 500. Then hit save. 
and that made it a little bit smaller. All right. Um, let me see what you guys are saying. We see it. Can can audience be changed out the landing page is published, or do you have to unpublish to make the changes? Good, Rosa. The page has to be unpublished. If you switch the audience, the uh, you must unpublish the landing page before you do that. Okay. All right. Good question. All right. So then I will put here. I will put my headline. Join the um, i'm gonna say coaching business simplified membership but i'm gonna put that here and i'm probably gonna drop this down to another line and then i'm gonna hit save and then i'm gonna write my sales copy right here um i'm gonna say right sale i might put um Join the club. Be the no. I might put be the first. Be the first to get updates on when the coaching business simplif simplified club launches. Um, I highlight that because I misspelled it. And then I definitely would change the color to black because that's a gray looking color. I would increase the size and see what 18 looks like. Let's see what 25 looks like. Um, that didn't change the color though, did it? And I will center it. Okay. And then that will be that part. And then I will come in here and I will add person's first name. Now, a lot of times people don't do the first name and they just get the email address. And the reason why I like to grab people's first name is because if you grab their first name, you can actually, all your emails, if you choose to, when you write them an email, their first name will show up, right? And I have to show you that in, in, another, in another setting, okay? Um, you can also ask for the phone number. If you plan to do text messaging kind of marketing, then ask for the phone number. But for this one, we're not. Um, I also want to change the color of this button. I don't know if you guys know that you can actually change the color of the button. Uh, let me find it. So right now, this is the color of the button. It says button style. So I'm going to change that color of that button to probably black. That's just because that's my color scheme. If I didn't like the font, I can change the font style to Georgia. I uh, tend to like that. And I want you to also change, what is it? It normally has it also has normally the name. So go over here in the content. Nope. Oh, yeah. All right. So I know I'm going back and forth. So the style allows me to change the color of the button, but I don't want the word subscribe. So I want to change the name to join or yes, I want in. Yes, I want in. Capital W want in with an exclamation point, right? And here's another thing about the content area. And I'm sorry that I went back. Okay. Here it says send to, after form is submitted, send visitors to a confirmation message, right? And this is the confirmation message that they will get. Or you can send them to another landing page. Maybe you have another landing page that you can create that just has content on it. Or maybe you can send them to a web address. So once they sign up, you can actually send them maybe to your YouTube channel. If you have them to watch some videos, you can send them there. Typically, what I do is I send them to the confirmation. I type a message in here. I make it fun. I say, success, you've, you've been added to the wait list. So I change audience to wait list. And I will put a little gift. So you guys know if y'all ever get my emails that I love to add gifts to my emails. And so I go to Giphy over here and I will say, 
Yes, let's look for something that says yes. Let's see what pops up. Yep, yeah, I would do I would do this right here. I like this one. I hit this one in here. Hit insert. Uh, that's a good size. Hit insert. Okay. I will probably increase this size a little bit as well to oh, that's too big. Let's do let's do 28. Oh, that's still too big. Let's do 25. Still too big. Let's just do 20. That should do it, right? And I do a space. So when they sign up, they will get uh, a confirmation email. This will be the email. Success, you've been added to the wait list, and they'll get a little gift. You can also put a little bit more information in there if you want to. That's just up to you. Then I hit save, right? Y'all saw how I styled the button. If y'all forgot, then you just go over here to style. You can change the font color, the button color, okay? But you definitely want to change that name. Don't leave it subscribe, right? You want to put something else in that button text, right? Because subscribe sounds more like email marketing and you don't want that, okay? So now that I've done that, I am, I'm done, like I'm done. So what I would do though, I would hit preview and I would look at what it would look like. So if someone signs up using my link, they sign up and they look at it from their laptop, right? This is what it's going to look like, right? That image, you know, I put that behind there so you can sort of see it. If they were on their mobile phone, this is the way it's going to look. So they really don't even get to see that background. This is the way it's going to look. And that's it. That's it. Like that will be it. Okay. Then I will hit save and close. And then you got to do something else. But let me ask, let me answer y'all's question. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Shayla says she had to watch it when she's out of class. Okay. Um, Materia says, do you have an Excel or a file with resources that you've shared throughout our lives? Example, we can't create markups on the products. Um, Rosa, can you make a copy of uh, Marsh uh, Materia's question about example of websites for mockups, uh, product hosting. Um, and you know what, Materia, that is on my to-do list is to create a page of all of my resources and that I use. And we're going to, I'm, I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it, on it, on it, on it. Rosa says, uh, or you can add in confirmation, a bonus freebie. Yes, that's a good idea, Rosa. So in the confirmation, you can actually provide them to a link to a freebie. Uh, don't make them opt in again for that freebie, though. Make sure it's just a link that takes them directly to that freebie. That's a really good idea, uh, Rosa. Um, Patricia says, so we can collect payment on the uh, opening page and then... and." And what all should we do on cart opening day? Okay. So on cart opening day, uh, Patricia, which is a real, let me, let me finish this. And then I'll talk about that. The cart opening day. I'm going to make my stuff a note on that. So I won't forget. Okay. All right. So once you have uh, saved and published, uh, you don't have to change the name, but you have to, it's ready. Sometimes it'll tell you that your page title needs to be different, but it's all ready to go. You hit publish and MailChimp is going to give you this link. So this is the link that you will copy. I'm going to open it up in a new window. And this is exactly what it would look like if someone, my window is 50%, but at 100%, <laughs> this is what it would look like. Okay, uh, if you you can go to uh, Bitly, B-I-T-L-Y, and actually create a shorter link if you want to for this. Um, if you have some kind of pretty link on your website, you can create that as well. Uh, but this is the link that you will share. This is the link. So using Bitly or some so sort of short URL link, this is the link that you will share to tell people to get on your wait list. And y'all, that's it. And if you put in Rosa's suggestions about um, giving them a freebie when they sign up, that will be absolutely awesome. But that's it. That's your wait list. And you rest to go. Y'all know rest to go. <laughs> so let me stop sharing my screen.